is the savior of my NaNoWriMo November 2020. I deserved that spoonful of Nutella straight out of the jar. It's a lot of fun to discover you right and find out things about your story along the way, so so far I'm really enjoying writing it. It's really cool. Look at the Pokemons. Finally, it's NaNoWriMo time again. So yes, it is the 1st of November, it is the first day of NaNoWriMo, and of course I am participating again. I think this is my 10th year or something ridiculous. I have not won every single one of those years, not even close. I have won, I think, twice, and one of them was a camp NaNoWriMo. But regardless, I am doing it again this year. If you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it stands for National Novel Writing Month. It happens every November where every single writer or aspiring writer tries to write 50,000 words in a month. And it's a worldwide event, so many people are taking part, it's a great way to sort of participate in the writing community and try to get some words down. So that's what I'm doing. This year I'm working on draft zero of a new fantasy series that I've planned out a little bit in October. I've had the idea for for a long time and I also combined it with a couple of other ideas I've had lying around in my brain for a long time and yeah, hopefully I can write 50,000 words of this zero draft. It's not going to be the completed zero draft because it's a fantasy and 50,000 words for first draft is too little. It would be 50,000 words towards a first draft, which is great. If I could do this in a month, it would be awesome. So I have my writing set up here. I have a little candle there for atmosphere. I have a lot of my notes and stuff in here and I have my Scrivener open and actually I have already started writing today. I've written these two scenes and I am at 1062 words today. But since it is the first day of NaNo and it is a Sunday, I plan on not only reaching the minimal target goal, which is 1,667 words, but doing more than that just to get a good head start, because I know some of these days I probably won't feel like writing or I won't write enough, and so whenever I can, I want to write more than the minimal amount. Um, and so today I'm hoping to write more than that, but I'll update you as I go along, and yeah. Yes, I will document this entire month of me trying to write a or 50,000 words of a new book in a month. So wish me luck. Hopefully I will have achieved this by the end of the video. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to writing now and make sure I win this NaNoWriMo of 2020. Good morning. It is morning. It is 6.42 on... November the 2nd and I decided to get up before work and do some writing because I work from home so I would be sleeping in during this time but I decided to try this. Yes, I'm not very coherent at this time of the morning so we'll see how um, writing goes. And if you can see yesterday I got to 2000 210 words and nothing written today. So yeah, I'll try this out, see if any good words come to me in the morning. Um, and of course I'm gonna write in the evening as well, but I wanted to see. It's kind of like an experiment to see if um, early morning me has more to say than evening me. As you can probably tell, not. Probably not. <laughs> but um... You know, the brain works in funny ways sometimes. Speaking is more difficult than typing. So what comes out in typing is actually much better than uh, whatever I'm doing right now. Anyway, I'll turn off the camera and uh, start writing. Yes. Okay, so it's about 40, 45 minutes later and I've written 778 words. So that works for me for this morning and of course I will have to write the other a thousand in the evening but that shouldn't be a problem so I think it was good that I woke up and I'm gonna try to do this more often so it's 5.30 on the same day and I'm almost done with my daily goal but I'm gonna try to write more 
than that if possible. Hello? Do you want to help me write? No? Damn it. So I didn't manage to film a clip the last couple of days but yesterday was the only day so far that I haven't uh, reached the goal of 1667. I wrote 1300 something but actually because I wrote more some of the previous days I'm still on goal. I haven't written anything today so far but today is Friday and so I'm gonna finish work for my day job a little bit earlier and then have the rest of the evening to write and hopefully write about 2,000, maybe more than 2,000 words just to have a little bit of extra leeway and also make up for the 300 words that I didn't get to write yesterday. So, so far this first five days have actually been going really well and I'm pretty proud that I managed to write every day and stay on top of the goal for the most part. We'll see how it progresses in the next three weeks. There's still a lot more of this yet to come. Also, in case anyone is curious, since I mentioned it in my Preptober vlog, which I will link up here if you haven't seen it yet, I have chosen to write in first person past tense. So, so that is my go-to right now, although I do find myself skipping back to present tense because I have written two books before this that were both in present tense and so I guess my mind is still kind of working like that and I find that I have to read back a few sentences and realize oh half of these are in present tense so I have to change them but the more I write in past tense the more it'll be locked back into my head and I'll continue forward so I, I don't imagine it'll go on for too too long but yes tense and POV is an interesting thing. Just going for a walk and then I can have my mind free to just write the rest of the evening because after my day job my mind is kind of like that Ugh. <laughs> So it's day seven and I just passed 10,000 words. Woohoo! 10,004 words to be exact and I'm at 1,247 for the day. But I'll keep going, maybe take a break and continue writing because I didn't actually get to write anything yesterday. It was just, I did other stuff. Um, I think I needed a break. So, but since today is Saturday and tomorrow is Sunday, I can write a lot more. So I'm gonna try to pass at least 2,000 words today, maybe more, we'll see. But I think that's it for my morning writing session. It is 11.32 in the morning, so I think I'm gonna go do something else for a while and then do an afternoon session and maybe an evening session as well. But in terms of the story, I've definitely gotten to the fun part uh, that I wanted to get at in the first place. I'm at chapter 6 right now, but I just love exploring the story and the setting and everything and the characters all the new characters that are being introduced and so right now it's a ton of fun so i think you know it, it comes very easily and i don't have to sit and think for too long it just kind of flows out of my fingers which is a great feeling do not judge me i deserved that spoonful of nutella straight out of the jar and if you wrote 10,000 words, so do you. Go get that spoonful of Nutella and don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> so it is Sunday and yesterday I wrote quite a lot. I think I wrote over 2,000 words. And this morning I already wrote 1,000 words. 
Um, I'm, again, I'm aiming for around 2,000, maybe more words today, just so I can get a little bit ahead. But it's going really well, and I'm really enjoying writing this story. Like, again, I got, I have gotten to that point where it's a lot of fun, and ideas just kept coming to me. In. And even though I have these scene cards, I actually, I find that I write a lot more scenes even before I get to sort of the main scene, which is, you know, the ones I wrote down here. But things just come to me, and that's the fun of discovery writing, and that's why I love doing both. I love having some kind of plan, but definitely it's a lot of fun to discovery write and find out things about your story along the way. So, so far I'm really enjoying writing it. So I currently have 12,001 words down. And so after the first week, I should be at 13,300, as NaNoWriMo says. So that means I still have to write about 1,300 words today, which should be possible because it's still just the afternoon, so technically I still have the rest of the day to write. But I also want to edit some videos. I filmed a video just now and things like that, but I should be able to write another 1,300 words, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, so far Nano is going really well and I'm honestly really confident this time around that I can actually do it because words are just flowing and it's coming really easily to me. I'm not struggling, I'm not like staying up in the middle of the night because I haven't finished my word count, like it just, it works. Um, which just goes to show that, you know, I haven't written a brand new draft in a long time. Like I've, I've rewritten Hunting Vienna multiple times, but the last time I've really completely written a brand new thing, finished it at least, was two years ago, I think. And so I think you know, I, it was just about time to write something new for me because things are just working really well. Fingers crossed that that's how it's gonna continue, but there's still three more weeks, so uh, uh, I'm trying not to get overconfident about it. Hello, it is the 16th of November, it is a Monday, and I know I haven't filmed that many clips last week, I just didn't really feel like filming myself, it do be like that sometimes, but I'm still making very good progress on NaNoWriMo, I'm currently, oh, obviously put the text here, but 21,000, 800 something words, I am a little bit behind though. As you saw in my previous clip, I have an answer to my NaNoWriMo and generally my drafting problems, and that is this beauty right here. <laughs> this is called the Alpha Smart Neo 2. It is a very 90s, early 2000s looking thing. It's because it is. This one was probably built in 2000s, and this is a digital keyboard. Now, I'll make a separate video talking all about this, but this is something that I started seeing a lot of writers use and it was before NaNoWriMo this year and I got myself one, I ordered one from eBay, but it was supposed to arrive in January. However, it showed up at my door last Wednesday and I've been using it ever since and it has helped me so much to write so much more because basically, you know, it's a digital typewriter, it's all you can do on it, you can transfer everything to your computer, it shows word counts, it's just fabulous, and it's really actually light, it does, maybe it doesn't look like it, but it's pretty light and portable, it's so fast, it turns right on, there's no booting time, it works perfectly for what I need, you can only see like four lines at a time, you can move up and down, and it's a word processor. <laughs> it's a word processor, but it's the only thing you can do on this, and it has helped me write so much. Yesterday, I wrote the most this year so far, or this NaNoWriMo so far, in a day I wrote 3,500 or 600 words, which is a lot for me, but as I said, I am a little bit behind. However, I'm pretty sure I can still do it as long as I write just a little more each day, maybe around 2,000 words each day, which is kind of what I've been doing anyway. I just missed a day or two because I just wasn't feeling it last week. Uh, to be honest, that's why I'm a little bit behind. But yes, I will make another video about this, but you will be seeing this in future clips. I'm so happy this arrived during NaNo because this is the savior of my NaNoWriMo November 2020, right here. Another thing I've been doing these days is a puzzle. I actually started this last week, and it took me about a week to get to this stage, maybe using about two or three hours every evening on it. And it's a Pokemon puzzle. This is what it looks like. 
full. But as you can see, I'm almost done with it. And this has been a nice way to spend some of my evenings in between work and writing, just so that I can look at something else that's not a screen <laughs> for a little bit. And it's been a lot of fun just putting on some music and doing this lovely Pokemon puzzle. It's really cool. Look at the Pokemons. I have this section left. I mean, I'm gonna finish this today. So, yeah. So it is Saturday and I'm just finishing up transferring my latest writing session to my computer. Like I showed you, this is what that looks like. It's just writing with the words as it transfers, which just they'll think it's really cool. It takes a little while, but it doesn't take that long. And it finished. And so I just passed 30,000 words with this latest session. So right now I am at 30,164, but I am behind, I'm about 5,000 words behind, or like 4,000 something behind. So I'm trying, gonna try this weekend, today and tomorrow to catch up on that, because I usually find that I write a lot more in the weekend, because of course I have the whole day, I don't have my day job to worry about. But I passed 30,000 words. And even though I'm a little bit behind, I'm still confident that I will make the 50,000. I'm gonna try to catch up so that I don't have such a big number to catch up to. Okay, so I'm currently filming some videos, but I just wanted to give an update on Nano. Because... Hmm, I'll tell you what in a minute. So it's 29th of November. Okay, so I have two more days for Nano. And I'm currently at 37,997 words and I'll be honest for the past few days I have not done much writing or much of anything else because uh, World of Warcraft Shadowlands came out last Tuesday I've been playing that and having a whale of a time and I have not enjoyed this game this much in a long time so I'm not really mad about that I knew this was gonna be a problem because I knew the expansion came out during Nano and I knew that if it was good I was gonna have a problem, but you know what? Even though at this point it's obvious that I'm not gonna hit 50,000 words, as much as I can still write today and tomorrow, it's still, honestly, it's still a lot more than previous nanos for me. Like, a lot of previous nanos were around 20,000 words, so already this is double, or it will be double, which is already like a huge thing for me. And plus, I did a lot of great discovery writing, honestly. Like, I came up with a lot of really cool ideas because I was pressured to write more than I would have done otherwise if it wasn't for Nano. But we'll see um, how much more I can write today and tomorrow. But yes, just FYI, I've been playing WoW, not been doing so much writing, definitely not gonna fi finish 50,000 words, but I still want to write uh, as much as I can these two days and see where I'm at at the end. Okay, so it is after NaNoWriMo, quite a bit after NaNoWriMo, but finally I am filming this wrap-up clip. So I finished NaNoWriMo with 40,500 words, so Technically, I failed the challenge since I didn't write 50,000 words, but honestly, this is the most I've written in a month in a very, very long time. To me, this is a huge success and it really does set me up to finish this draft during December and probably January as well, since it'll definitely need more than 50,000 words to get to the end of the story. I'm really, really pleased with uh, the 40,000 words that I write and disregarding like the number. I'm really pleased with the story and I'm pleased with the kind of things that I could discover write during this process and I think something like NaNoWriMo has its pros and cons but in some cases it can definitely help you write through the moments where you wouldn't necessarily write and that can prove to be beneficial because you discover things that you wouldn't have otherwise 
written in that moment if you didn't push yourself to write down these words because, you know, you needed to write a certain amount of words every day. Now, at the same time, it has the opposite effect sometimes where you write extra words that you know you will need to take out later because you want to hit that word count. So like I said, it has its pros and its cons, but overall, NaNoWriMo 2020 has been really successful for me <laughs> and I'm really happy with the things that I achieved for this draft this month. And I'm very excited to continue on the story and, you know, finish uh, the draft and then write the second draft and so on and so forth because I'm really, really happy with this story and I hope to one day have it out there for you guys to read as well. So that is my wrap up for NaNoWriMo 2020. Do let me know if you participated in NaNoWriMo. Do let me know how your NaNoWriMo went down in the comment section below. And otherwise, if you didn't do NaNoWriMo, what is the latest word count of your work in progress? Do let me know that as well. So yeah, that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you had a great November and I hope you have a great December. Probably when you're watching this, it'll be way into December. Have a great December, have a great Christmas if you celebrate that and otherwise I will see you next time in a new video. Bye.